Hi everyone, we are Afro Nomads. In this video, we'll be sharing with you 15 things to do in the Eastern Highlands, from scenic drives, hiking trails, and waterfalls. The Eastern Highlands definitely have something to do for everyone, and this is why. This must be your first trip. Hey! So first stop is Nyanga. Make sure to summit the highest mountain in Zimbabwe, standing at 2,593 meters. Stage two. We all good, guys? Yeah. Are we good? <laughs> Everyone's quiet because yeah, it's hectic. Yeah. Yes, girl. We made it. Yes. You cannot visit Nyanga and not experience the highest zipline in Africa. Mutarazi Skywalk and Skyland has become a favorite amongst the locals and internationals. You have to experience it to know why. Honestly, nothing beats waking up early in the morning to catch the sunrise in a canoeing boat. Well, only this morning it was a bit gloomy. But this experience is offered in the Nyanga National Park at Udu Dam. What a treat. Whoa. Ah. That is our guide, Romeo. Hey. He was with us um, at Nyangombe as well. Oh, did I mention waterfalls? Definitely head over to Nyangombe Falls while in Nyanga. Also, another cool experience is visiting the world's view. Grab yourself a few drinks and enjoy the stunning views. Mm. For a little bit of culture and history, check out the pit structures. I swear our ancestors were onto something with this one. Did we tell you, Little Connemara has three lakes and you are free to take a dip and also canoe or kayak. No crocs, we promise. So other things that you can do in Nyanga are visiting Nyamuziwa Falls and swimming in Nyangombe Pool. Chimani Mani while Bidaville was affected by Cyclone AI, it's still if not more beautiful than ever, so make sure you stop by there and enjoy. Other things you can do in Chimani Mani are summiting Mount Benga, bouldering and checking out Tessa's pool. Vumba Vumba meaning mist. When you travel to Vumba, expect a morning covered with mist. 
If you're into photography, this destination is literally heaven. But here are a few things that you can do when you're down there. Number one, visit the Tony's Coffee Shop. It's known for its delicious cakes. It's also great for bird watch. It's got insane hiking trails. It's pretty mountainous, so if you go there, you're definitely gonna enjoy it. While you're in Bumba, also take a day trip down to Burma Valley. Burma Valley is famously known for uh, banana plantations, uh, coffee plantations, but also there's this amazing waterfall called uh, Fungudu. It's Zim's hidden treasure right now, but it's not a hidden treasure anymore because it is absolutely amazing and we were lucky enough to go there last year. Soak that in water to fill in. Oh, okay. Like for, for a few days. Uh -huh. And then put it outside. Oh, yeah. Right. Next up is Chipinge, not a very popular destination but definitely worth visiting. On your way to Chipinge, I'll suggest that you pass through the Brechnev Bridge. Completed in 1935, this bridge is considered to be one of the country's finest pieces of engineering. If you're a tea connoisseur or just love tea in general, make sure to visit the Zona Tea Estates, home to Zimbabwe's finest tea production. Also visit Chirinda Forest, home to the biggest tree in Zimbabwe. We literally call it, call it our little Amazon. It's so amazing and it's always green all year round. So definitely make sure you pass through there and enjoy a little picnic while you're at it. Our last destination in this video, but definitely not the least, is Honda Valley. Make sure you drop by Honda Valley. Activities that you can do there are whitewater rafting on the Pungwa River, visiting the tea estates and the factory, and also playing golf at Upper Foyer Lodge. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you found it useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share amongst your friends. Until uh, next time, bye. Oh, 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 oh,